What's up guys? It's Christine and Aaron from Irene Iron Fitness. Where we bring full-time RVing and full-time fitness together and in this episode we are leaving one of our favorite Thousand Trails RV parks in Seaview, Washington and we are going to be heading down the west coast down through Astoria, Oregon and into another Thousand Trails park called Seaside, Oregon. RV That's park. right. We're excited to get into Oregon. We've just heard such great things about the coastline, the views, the waves crashing on the rocks. Like you can just pull over anywhere and enjoy it. So we're excited to see that on the road ahead and we're gonna share with you along the way. And last we left you guys, we were in Olympic National Park and we headed down the west coast to one of our favorite Thousand Trails RV parks that we've been to and it's in Seaview, Washington and it is about a 10 minute walk to the Pacific Ocean and it's absolutely amazing here. RV park itself is not the best one we've ever been to. It's very tight, but just the location next to the beach is awesome. Yeah, you can't beat it. What a great day. Like, you just get up, go run on the beach, go do your day, and then you end it on the beach again with a beautiful sunset. Yeah, the beaches here are like a hard pack, so a lot of 4x4s four are down there um, fishing and things like that. So running on it, it's almost like running on on hard ground it's just it's very packed and it's not like running on a soft sand beach so it's a really nice beautiful run and of course you're right next to the ocean like that and i don't know it's absolutely breathtaking here we're really digging the the west coast the west coast is the best coast <laughs> <laughs> to be debated <laughs> anyone <laughs> we were here for four days and we're on the Thousand Trails Zone Pass, so we're doing four days in, four days in, four days in, and we're just hopping from park to park down the West Coast. Um, we're thinking about upgrading to the big Thousand Trails used membership, but right now for the past uh, nine months, the Zone Pass has worked very well for us. Yeah, we loved it. Mm -hmm. So the weather's getting a little chilly now. It's um, 30 some degrees last night. It is, it's, it's warming up and the days are nice. It's sunny and it's, it's not too bad, but um, we're definitely looking forward to heading down south into California, but we don't want to pass by Oregon because we hear it is absolutely beautiful. We're going to roll through Astoria today. And we don't know how much time we're going to spend there, but we do want to stop and at least see the coast there. And um, I don't know, maybe look at some Goonies memorabilia. Chris still hasn't seen the movie Goonies, if you believe that one. We were going to rent it last night. And we didn't. <laughs> at least I'll get to see the locale. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, I think, pretty fun. So we will check back in in Astoria.
we made it to downtown Astoria and if there's anything that we love to do, it's a river walk. It's a river walk. It's our absolute favorite. If there's any town that's on the water, we try to find some type of free walking just on on that body of water. And it's usually got shops and and you know, for us just get out and exercise. So we found this little gem here. It's like a four mile river walk all along downtown Astoria and it's pretty cool there's a trolley that's going by that I think is free no it's one dollar it's a dollar to get on that thing it's one dollar for round trip and it's two dollars for on off all day man <laughs> did you it's read not, that in like a tourist that's guide that's not steep no I well it literally just walked drove by us and it was posted on the oh, windows I probably should have read that I, I don't, don't know. know how you missed it really I was looking through the two inch camera lens I oh, thought yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was uh, free, and I, I think it's kind of cool when they provide stuff like that. But I think it'd be fun to get on it, even though we like to do the walking. I'm still like, eh, let's jump on the trolley. But he says no. Yeah, we did that Niagara and, Falls. And you said no when you thought it was free. Yeah, oh there's no, god. there's no way we're paying a dollar for that. Oh my god. Well, it's just cool because when you are a passenger you can really look at more stuff like when you're walking you have to make sure you don't trip or like walk into somebody or you have to pay a little bit more attention when you're walking to your walking yes yeah, it's a tight walk path here too the trolley goes right down the middle of it and it kind of splits people on both sides but and you can, i actually drove on it for a second yeah pretty sure you weren't supposed to do that <laughs> um well parking though was pretty easy we literally were like on the main drag and then i just picked a road to turn left on towards the water I did a single loop around and I found street parking there's so much street parking like nothing like a city where you have to pay for park you just park yeah so we're, that's nice we're used to paying something we just came from Seattle and it was four dollars an hour up to ten dollars an hour so it's nice when it's a free free little town that you can just kind of park anywhere and walk that's how it should be okay so back to like Astoria though and all the glitz and glamour like everybody that I talked to is like, oh, you're going to Astoria next. Like everybody's heard of it. I really haven't heard too much of Astoria in my life. I don't know if it's because I've never seen the Goonies and I live under a rock or if it's just like, I don't know. But I can totally see what the hubbub is about because it's really cool here. There's a ton of people here. It's a little windy and, and cold, but like the water is so pretty and just the, what do you call it? No, like the no, mountain lion in the back is really pretty Another the bridges the there's a whole bunch of ships and different cool stuff and it's beautiful so we're gonna keep walking around on the river walk and see what else we run into yes first I <laughs> I talked Aaron into stopping so that he could enjoy a buoy beer. We're walking and it smells like mini donuts and we're like, what is that delicious mini donut smell? And Aaron says, well, it's a boardwalk, so there's going to be mini donuts. So we're here like sniffing out the mini donuts. And then we start seeing pallets of beer and then we found a brewery and we never stop at breweries and we love, we don't. We love IPAs. Yeah. Yep. So I'm just going to go in and have one beer, Christine's. I'm gonna watch. Christine's off the beer diet for a little bit. And yeah. we'll see what we can find out in this great uh, Oregon beer. They make some good beers along the West Coast. And I'm gonna sniff your beer. I know, I haven't been enjoying any of it. Well, I, you know, this might change that because you might get just fucked. Yeah, let's do it. Do it.
right, so Aaron is enjoying his IPA. It is fruity and it smells delicious. And I'm enjoying my coffee. I am currently on a diet cut right now and as much as I love beer, it is not in my plan right now. So I'm steering clear and I'm drinking black coffee. That's really good. And I also love to read menus. So anytime we go out, whether we're eating or not, I always read the menu and I just peruse it. I like to see what they do. It gives me ideas, it gives me inspiration, and it gives me a sense of what the city is known for. This place is really cool. They source all of their ingredients from nearby local stuff. And they have a lot of seafood here. They have oysters, lots of oysters. They have prawns, um, clam chowder, salmon, sturgeon. What else? Rockfish. The food looks pretty good. And if I were going to get a snack, they have spiced pistachios that look really good. They're warm and they're with like green chili powder and cumin and paprika. So you get to see some cool stuff on the menus just by reading through them. But you know, I'm just practicing my self-discipline right now and watching Aaron enjoy his delicious frothy beer. And we were just talking, he should get more flights because I should. Yes. that's what breweries are all about yep. is to try like the different stuff. But he is the type where he knows what he likes and he likes to do it good. So he just gets what what he enjoys and he sticks to it. Yeah, I'd much rather have 20 ounces of something I really enjoy instead of four ounces or probably more like two ounces of six different kinds of beer that I don't really like too much. So Is it that you don't like the disappointment? I don't know. It's just I don't like mixing that many flavors together. I like to just kind of keep it keep it clean and tasty so I'm a one beer kind of guy so if you're in the area you should definitely come here and eat because the food looks good and there's an awesome view out the back thought that these were fake down here so I'm just standing here like yeah it's really cool but I was wondering why you weren't more impressed well now I realize that they're real and I'm blown away holy moly can you see the view out there <laughs> Do you hear the seals? Yeah. What? That is so loud. So the seals are going nuts in there. I drank about three cups of coffee, so I'm going to get all jacked up on caffeine here, which is good. And are we going to keep walking? Yeah, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going that way. There's ships, 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 lots of ships that way. And maybe some stores. I could do some window shopping. I'm feeling extra touristy today. It's hard not to here. This brewery is all... <laughs> Hello. This brewery is really cool because there's so many pockets that you can sit. Like, there's an outdoor seating out front, outdoor patio, and then there's an indoor bar for the brewery, and then there's an indoor restaurant, and then there's this little lounge where you can sit and listen to the sea lions. I saw that thing and I thought you were holding a bird or something. <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? Yeah, it's a big mic. <laughs> it's a big microphone. <laughs> Careful what you say. Keep going. Okay. That's about it for us, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps it out a bunch. 
and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the action, and we'll catch you next week.